Doctors are diagnosing more young women with advanced late stage cervical cancers, according to a new study in the International Journal of Gynecological Cancers. Since January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, we wanted to go in depth on this issue. Doctors told us they're diagnosing more young women with stage four cervical cancer. That's women in their 30s and early 40s. And that begs the question of why. Doctors say a lack of prevention is to blame. Our Keely McCormick has more. Cervical cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer in women uh, in the United States. It's um, preventative. Dr. Kamal Sharm is stressing that prevention is key with cervical cancer. That includes a vaccine at a young age, annual screenings, and a human papillomavirus or HPV test every five years. But what we think is happening is that women are not doing the annual exam. In, with their gynecologist or their primary care provider. Instead, they're saying, well, I'm not due for my pap smear, so maybe I'll just let it go to the five years. The drop in screening numbers traces back to the pandemic. According to the CDC, in April of 2020, cervical cancer screenings declined 84% compared to previous years. By the time we uh, see those women, you know, it's a late stage of cervical cancer. That's why screening is so important in prevention. Doctors are also pushing to get your teenagers vaccinated against HPV. They say 95% of cervical cancers are associated with HPV. It is critical to be able to vaccinate the youth and especially vaccinate people at a very early age before they're sexually active. The target age for the vaccine is 11 and 12 year olds. You know, it's basically like a get out of jail card for cancer. Doctors say they're seeing a different demographic of patients. Dr. Sharm told me historically black and Hispanic populations are the groups presenting late stage cervical cancer, but that's shifted to white and Asian women. The reasons for why we're seeing this change is because we're seeing less vaccination in the white Caucasian population at the preteen age and less a vaccination um, also in the Asian population than we are in the Hispanic and black population. Take a look at your screen. Here's a list of some late stage cervical cancer symptoms. Some patients present these while others don't show any symptoms. The majority of patients um, that we screen for are asymptomatic. And doctors say the good news is cervical cancer is treatable even in those late stages, but it's so important to stay up to date with annual screenings. More info and resources are available right now on abcactionnews.com.